Okay, so for my assignment, I am interviewing my, or my sisters. I'm teaching them how Catholics read the Bible. Okay, so number one, I'm going to explain to you guys how to find scripture in the Bible. For example, let's find Genesis 1, 2 through 6. So you would go to Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, and you would find one right there. And then after the two dots, you would say two through six, which are the verses. And there's two right there, and you go six to there. Okay. Now, a second way Catholics look at the Bible is they look at it as an instance of God's personal self-revelation. This is called Dei Verbum. So they, they, they read it to learn more about how God revealed himself to the people through Jesus. Um, a third way is Catholics consider many traditions in the Bible to be guided by the Holy Spirit. So they pay close attention to instances when the Holy Spirit is a part of the story that they're reading. Um, a fourth way is the historical critical method. It encourages our attempts to understand the different literary methods used in text. So in the Bible, they use different literary methods and the historical critical method teaches you how to read and understand them. Um, a fifth way is Catholics insist on both the divine origin of the Bible and necessary contribution of people composed the books of the Bible to a certain time. So they look at that the divine origin of the Bible, which is like Jesus and all of that, and then how people have contributed to it and like composed even more books in their own words so we can understand it. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, sixth way is a sensible we Catholics look at it as a sensible and spiritual approach. So they want it to make they want it to make sense and like not just be like totally made up and out of the blue, like it needs to make sense to humans today. And spiritual also just like what you believe in, like thinking how a Catholic would, you know. And the Bible is the main and primary way Catholics encounter God. They study it through reflection. Um, the seventh way is Ignatian contemplation. One imagines oneself as vividly as possible in a Bible scene. So like, for example, like the wedding of Cana. Like, imagine if you were the people at the wedding who, when the wine ran out, and then Jesus came and made the miracle happen and turned water into wine and bread and everything, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one way, the Ignatian contemplation. And then an eighth way is Catholics view the Bible primarily as a way of getting to know Jesus and his people, the Jews, in the Old Testament and the New Testament. So they use the Bible to get to know him and like through his life, like how he grew up with, his, with Mary and Joseph and all that. And even to when he was like being crucified. Um, a ninth way is Catholics read the Bible by relating it to their own lives. So like... Like, if you're in a position where you have to choose, like, right from wrong, like, just think about, like, what would God, like, what would Jesus do, you know? WWJD, what would Jesus do? And then tenth, final way, is they read it while looking for stories of how Jesus grew up. So, they read the Bible, hope, like, trying to understand what Jesus went through, like, when he, when he was crucified on the cross, so that they can be thankful for it and everything, so... Do you guys feel like I taught you well today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. Okay. Thank you.